Hi again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Nate and Montana here. We're just sitting, speaking with some family members, and one of their work colleagues has a bit of an issue in relation to going to the toilet. So, what we're looking at is we're going to explain to you why dogs go to the toilet inside. Good boy, not yet, in a minute. Um, that tends uh, compliance signals and attentiveness. So basically, a lot of the time, the dogs, yes, they're marking territory, but it's basically a behavior. And so we've got to look at addressing that and showing them what we want. So if you want your dog to go to the toilet, you've got to give them an understanding of what going to the toilet means. Okay, Montana, you want to come for a walk over here? Good boy. Come on. Can you go to the toilet? Do a pee. Go to the toilet. 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 Good boy. Go to the toilet. So basically what I'm doing is I'm repeating the word over and over so that he gets an association with that. Go to the toilet. Yep, so basically, go to the toilet. Because when, when he heard the noise, the reason he stopped doing that then is it's a different distraction. So basically, he's indicating with that low tail wag, go to the toilet. Good boy. So we're using that same word repeating over and over so that it's the association when he does. Go to the toilet. So five minutes after animals eat, five minutes after animals sleep, five minutes after animals wake up. Good, go to the toilet. Good oh boy. Very good. Then make that a big deal. Good, go to the toilet. Very good. Good boy. High energy into it. Okay, you can go and lay down. So basically... Yep, just one second, please. Still recording for here. So basically, just lay down here, Tan. Good boy. Thank you. Very good. So if you give the dog an understanding of going to the toilet and he's got one if he needs to do a number two, I repeat that word over and over, at that time he then knows what going to the toilet is. If they're urinating or defecating inside of the house, a quick and easy way that I've found to, to deal with that is to, good boy, is to use white vinegar and water. A lot of your cleaning products that are used contain ammonia, which is, which is a substance that's contained in urea and urine and all that sort of stuff. So basically, when you're using some of your cleaning products with ammonia, you're replacing another scent or a smell over the top of it. When you use white vinegar and water 50-50 mixture, that's generally a scent neutralizing thing. So when the dogs go to the toilet inside, or cats or whatever else, we'll deal with cats in another video. Good boy. So when they go to the toilet inside, what we're going to do is we're going to clean that up with the white vinegar and water. Um, but first of all, we're going to use a bit of paper towel or newspaper to clean up the actual urine from the animal. Put that outside on top of a rock or stick a stick in it so it doesn't move or blow around the yard too far. Good boy. Um, after that's outside and in an area where you want them to be able to go to the 